Hello again. Um, it's time for the um, second stage of creating our low poly, uh, low fi uh, tank model, um, which is unwrapping the sort of the model for the texture, the UV, creating a UV map basically. Um, hopefully I'll take less time than last time, uh, which probably, you know, that was about 30 minutes, but still, it wasn't too bad. Um, but let's see if we can squeeze this, squeeze this into one YouTube video length. So what we'll do is we'll open up the UV image editor side, and I'm going to, um, first of all, I just got the GIMP open here. Just a blank 64 by 64 texture map. Um, uh, call this new tank. TGA is a target file for the texture. And what I'm going to do is for the model, I'm going to add a new material add a new texture to it, go to the texture button, create image texture, load our new tank target file, and load it into here. So now the idea is, is then we can go um, first I need to just just gonna do a quick uh, cube projection. It's gonna look like crap, but uh, now I can do snap to pixels for one. Let's move all this over here. So, so what we can do is I usually take all of the longer pieces, such as we'll do maybe the tank treads first. Select these actually these separately. And just change the view so we're on top. Project like that. And last but not least. What we can do is overlap them after. I'm just like, I just want to sort of 
take the texture and uh, or the UV map of the texture and just kind of make a rough sort of stab as to where everything's going to end up being in the final texture map. they're all overlapping we can do this If we do uh, not that, do Control Tab, change so we select faces instead of points. So we have both sides, and then we can project from view. And just put that up here for now. And once we get all these fiddly bits done, it should be relatively easy to get the rest of the tank's faces. Basically, we don't need to place it all on the texture map, but we're just trying to get all of the UV faces um, basically sorted out now.
outside this top area. both of these at the same time, so they'll have the same texture. Put this over here. And I'll put the front and the back as having unique textures. Front. faces around this bottom part of the turret. Oops. Inside to unwrap and I will do cylinder from view. No, it didn't look good. There we go. So I'll just resize those later on. Basically, they'll be. I'll make them all the same size, and they can overlap, and I can have them repeat the same pattern. The other thing I can do is take these sideways, unwrap cylinder. So those are all the faces of the turret bar. The front here. from view. Let's make that square eventually. Uh, and the final part is the very top of the tank's turret. Actually, no, I still have to do the gun. The barrel. Uh, project from view. One thing we can do is eventually make this square and it will, if you put any lines around it, it will follow the edges and look quite good. Uh, just kind of move that over there. a bit more tweaking, but I'm pretty sure we've just taken all of the different elements of the texture and kind of grouped them together logically. Uh, I mean, it's going to require a bit of adjusting the points to fit the texture to the final artwork, but it's a good start anyway. So tune in next time when I actually make the texture map and move all these UV mapped triangles around and we'll have a uh, fully textured tank.